Hey all, it's Aurelius, hope you've been well. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can edit and import your PDF documents straight into Canva, and then you can edit the text, the images, and anything else that was originally on your PDF document. Your PDF documents could be eBooks, guides, planners, worksheets, or anything else, as long as it's in PDF format. And this is a somewhat new feature from Canva, which they released not too long ago. So it is in beta form. However, I have tested it and it does overall a pretty good job. So let's head over to the screen and I'll show you how it works. When you log into your Canva account, you'll land on your homepage. Grab some PDF documents that you wanna test this out with or whatever you wanna edit and format. I've got a couple of samples here. I've got an ebook that's about 40 pages. I've got a password protected one, which I'll also show you. And I've also got this one from Google Docs as another demo. Before we continue, there is this help file from Canva explaining what this importing feature does and what you can expect. So you can import PDFs up to 15 pages. However, I did test this out with a 40 plus page ebook and it works completely fine. So it seems like they've already kind of improved on this and they just haven't updated this help file. And it says if your PDF has both text and images, we'll break them up for editing purposes. All right, with that out of the way, let's go and test out one of these PDF documents. So let's start off with the ebook. The fastest way to import it is to simply drag your PDF file onto your homepage in Canva and it'll upload as you can see. While we wait for that to upload, there is another way to upload your PDF documents. If you go to create a design, you'll see import PDF. So there's a button there for now, but uh, it is an alternate way to upload your PDF documents. All right, so it's uploaded. We're going to open the file now, so click it once. And voila, it has opened and you can see the cover page. We've got the disclaimer, blank page here with table of contents and the rest of the ebook. But let's take a look at what the original look compared to the one that's imported. The Resilience ebook was actually published using Microsoft Word, so I'll open that doc up. Okay, here is the original of the Resilience ebook. If we scroll down, this is what it looks like. So just take a look at what this looks like. And now I'm gonna switch over to the Canva version. And here it is. It's not exactly the same. You can see the text right here. The font is a Montserrat, while the original is Arial font. And that's one of the things to note with this PDF import feature at the moment. It will, however, try to match up with the closest font family, I guess, Montserrat and Arial. It is quite similar. But overall, you can see at least it's not all messed up. It still remains on page six right here. And let's take a look at the original page six. We've got another image cover photo right here, you know? So it's not too drastic that it's unusable. We can easily just modify this, go in and edit the font that we want. But the great thing now is that we can do things like add elements. So let's head over to elements and <laughs> let's say we wanna insert this right here, the candle, and we can place it anywhere we want and making sure of course things wrap around it and uh, we can place it wherever we want. So that's the great addition once you start importing your PDF documents into Canva. You can utilize the power of Canva as opposed to using something like Word. Now, as I mentioned, let's scroll down. It did say a limit of 15 pages. However, I did import this particular ebook, which is in total 53 pages. So no problems there. I know that Canva for a fact has a limit of 100 pages, but there are ways around it, which I can share with you in a separate video. I'll link it up right here if you wanna learn how to import something or create an ebook or a guide that's over 100 pages. I wanna show you another scenario. We've got a protected PDF document here, as you can tell with the icon. If I try to upload this, you'll see an alert. If I hover over, it says document couldn't be imported because the file is encrypted. But that's one thing to note and kind of an obvious one because if it is password protected, then it should do its job of password protecting it and encrypting it. I'll show you another demonstration. We've got a recipe, one page recipe that I just found uh, using Google Docs. So we've got a Google Docs document. Uh, I've basically downloaded it and now I've imported it. There it is, let's click it once. Here's what it looks like. I'll show you the original. Here's the original and the font family right here is Playfair. And if I head back to Canva, take a look at that heading. 
and just select any of that heading there. You'll see it's Playfair as well, as long as it has that font, I guess. So I'd say it does a pretty darn good job of importing PDF documents. And no matter what PDF document you're trying to import, I'm sure it'll retain its format, its layout as best as it can. And for demo purposes, let's go ahead and modify this and play around with it a bit. We'll change the photo, deleting the photo, selecting it, and you'll see this frame. Basically that'll retain that layout, that position. So if you add a new photo, that'll keep it in this box. So let's go ahead and add a photo, click on more, click on photos, and let's search for strawberry. And let's just choose this photo right here. It is a pro Canva photo, so you do need to pay for it, but it's just for demo purposes anyway. I'll drag it to the actual box or frame and that'll retain that box, that position. I'll just double click and then I can choose and crop the area that I actually want or that photo. And there you have it. And once we are done, we can then download as a PDF document once again. So what do you think about this new feature? Do you see yourself using it to edit your existing PDF documents or doing a range of other things? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching and if you got value from this tutorial, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next training.